Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel, and today we are going to be checking out a band called Torcon 11. Torcon, and the song is called Torcon, as in T O R C O N 11. Yeah. And the song is called Respect the Polygon. Prog Metal? Uh, no. Uh, we'll, we'll let we'll watch the video and you can kind of go for it. Uh, it's one of your it's one of Andy's favorite style of videos. It's the uh, lawn chair youth uncut style. He loves those videos. Uh, yeah, interesting. I have to be honest. Talk on eleven. I'm, I know there must be a reason what the name stands for or anything like that. But it's a fucking stupid name. I don't know what it's. Sorry. It is. <laughs> I, I think it's come up. You, you know the the YouTube recommendations. I do. I am subscribed to the channel. I'm sure this one has has appeared. So I recognize the name. But I haven't. Yeah. I haven't looked at it. No, idea. no, I will have. Sort of... I am, I'm actually interviewing this band later today, so I am going to have to ask them about the name because I'm going to be like, "Come on, talk on the leather." It's a bit stupid, in my opinion, but they are military. Must be I think it's a military um, analogy, you know, military reference, yeah. sort of a status of American military awareness or something. You know, I don't know. It's one of those ones that you have to be in the know, but that makes you feel excluded if you don't know about it. It makes yeah. you feel excluded from that conversation. A bit stupid. But in the age of Google, you can just find out in five seconds. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, let's go check out the video. We'll share our thoughts and feelings at the end. Let's do it. If you're in St. Clair County right now, just off of 231, there's a Milo's. If you're anywhere near there, go to your place of safety. We've got some radar indicated rotation. Things are about to get heavy! Yeah! 
Okay, talk on 11 and respect the polygon. Uh, Kirk, over to you. Weird off meter groove metal meets hardcore. I love the image of the band. It makes sense. You know, they're all there wearing their braces and their cravats and their suits. And it, it is like a white collar type interpretation of heavy music, isn't it? There's a definite like mathematical element to it as well. And you always get the feeling that with when you present that image, what they're trying to say is underneath the veneer of civilization, there's always darkness, there's a trauma there, there's an aggression that we all need to be in control of on a daily basis. And this music allows you as an output, doesn't it? To, sorry, as an outlet to release some of those pent up emotions. So I said at the beginning, because of the song title, are they a prog metal band? Probably not quite, but you could put them in there as well because they were doing, there was no verse chorus to that song, was there? There were, there were so many different parts in there, but it was never overly complex either. So mm. I thought it would be impossible to review this without mentioning a certain band from Sweden. So I'm not going to say the name. They were obviously an influence on this, but they didn't rip them off. I just love how they've merged hardcore with like a mathematical interpretation of metal and the vocals. Excellent. That's what I like. You know, when I listen to music like this, I prefer this form of extreme harsh vocals to like your monotonous death metal vocals or the eviscerating black metal shrieks. This is my type of music. When I'm out today, walking in the countryside, supping a bottle of beer, I need to be listening to music like this. I really do. It makes me feel invincible. So talk on 11. I know, Dave, you're interviewing these. I need to fucking listen to this band. I would be all over an album if the songs sound like that. So great job. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, Andy. You have to fill me in. Who's, who's the Swedish band there you're making comparisons to? Uh, Meshuggah. Because I mentioned them all the <laughs> times. So I didn't want to do it. If I knew they were from Sweden, I'd have said that. Because I, I didn't pick it up first of all. But <laughs> if, yeah, Meshuggah, I don't know the band, but I, I know they're kind of. You know that you know they create those sort of songs that are not sort of you know the usual verse chorus structure so i i enjoy that element of it as well um we, we've talked about it in my band and also with our monks friends and also on the channel it's good to have a band identity when these guys play live they've got kind of a recognizable name but you'll think oh yeah they're the blokes who are in the um the black suits with the white shirts and the suspenders as the americans call them mm. you know so they've got that that sort of recognizable look um the opening section cut. What we we've heard that before as well, where the sort of the note sort of trails off, sort of on a on a sort of string bend. Yeah. Who uses that technique that we've that you probably have mentioned before? I've heard it. It, it, it is Meshuggah, but the band Tesseract do that quite a lot as well. Yeah, it's like yeah. you're adding an extra beat in there, aren't you? Even though it's still got a groove to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, lo I love. As soon as I heard that at the beginning, I was I was thinking, oh, this is for me. I just had to hear that, and I, was like, I know this is going to be a good song. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed that, and, I, and like yourself, I think I would I'd be interested to hear hear more and, and, a, and a full album because they've, they've they've got a sort of uniqueness to me. In as much as this is not the sort of stuff I usually listen to, you you, you know, you compare them to Miss Sugar, which is certainly not a band I, I've heard. Um, yeah, it's another good output from from this project. You know, Lawn Chair Youth. One thing I always notice about these videos, and particularly this one, we've talked about it before. The, the drummer's certainly holding him back. He, he, he's miming along to a, you know, a, a backing track, and he's he's, yeah. he's barely he's doing this, and he rather than, you know, what he'd normally do playing live or recording. And I, I know they're sort of one take shots and, and done within, you know, fifteen minutes or so these videos. But I, I'm always looking out for the the, the vocalist. He sometimes the mic microphone's away from his from his the end of his line or the beginning of his line. Yeah, you know that happened in the Cold Steel one, for example, which which is a shame. It just kind of takes away the um, the realism a little bit from from what you're watching. But yeah, really enjoyed the track. I say not my usual kind of stuff, but I'd certainly want to hear more from this band and interested here uh, watching your interview with them, Dave. So yeah, thanks for bringing that one to us. I mean, it's it's interesting with the Launch Air Youth when we were interviewing the uh, the owner uh or organizer of it he was asked he asked us a question in that interview he goes well did you know did you, did you know that it's not played live because a lot of people think this is a live performance in these videos i was like well fuck yeah of course it's not live you can see that they're miming i'm like unless people don't look at it that way 
and it, I mean the energies are all there but I, I was just like I guess maybe because we're reviewing rather than just watching a music video you do look for that uh, and because we know it's so you're always looking for those elements but I it's very obvious especially on the drum on this one uh so the talk on 11 are listed as weathercore is their genre I was like, so fuck hell, they generate natural disasters then, don't they? Because everything's about the weather. I was like, <laughs> I've got to ask about where this came from. Why, why, uh, why? Because you're instantaneously now limited to only singing about the weather now. Because <laughs> there's <laughs> got yourself weather identity. doing something different. It's unique, but if everything's yeah. about the weather, it's, it's um, yeah, I've, it's going to be an interesting interview later because. I've definitely got some questions. They have actually sent me a load of press stuff to help me with some of these <laughs> questions. So, uh, you yeah. You could call I'm... it meteorological cause. <laughs> that doesn't roll up the tongue, does it? Right. I don't know. But, uh, and I have to ask, how how many times has the gu other guys in the band wanted to shave that other guy's head just to make get that uniformity in their look? <laughs> yeah. Like, just, has he fallen asleep yet? Get the clippers out. We'll get him. We'll buzz him. <laughs> well, he looks hey, cool. we all look the really, same now. He's got a really severe undercut though yeah. so it does look cool his hairstyle the guy who actually has some hair but do you do you get the feeling like that guy in the band just really doesn't like the idea of wearing a tie because you got halfway through it's like fuck this shit i'm taking this <laughs> yeah. off i've had enough <laughs> uh apart from that yeah i enjoyed the track i like the fact there was multiple different elements it wasn't just a straight out hardcore track or doom track <laughs> there was just different bits to it so i enjoyed it um but yeah, looking forward to interviewing them later today and uh, getting to the background behind a lot of this. Can uh, I just say, Dave, they're actually, do you know you said that they're going to, I don't think you said they're going to run out of things to sing about, but that German doom band that Andy and I like, Ahab, they call that nautical doom metal because all oh, the songs are about novels based on the sea. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for Talk on 11 to do a hardcore cover of It's Raining Men. It's got to be done. <laughs> <laughs> Never stopped Niall singing about the same subject for eight albums, did it? No, exactly. No. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you got call it the that's the core. Elements to write songs about. Uh, there you go. Anyway, if you enjoyed our video today, <laughs> you'd like what's to share. Got to do with weather, anyway. What's Polygon got to do with the weather? Anyone I don't know. That? I'll, I'll ask that. Res but respect it. Remember, no. respect the Polygon. Yes. <laughs> must. If you liked our video today, please do like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the video sometime very soon. Take care. <laughs>